This patient, Mr. Raja Reddy, is having inferior, acute inferior lateral wall MI. Angiogram shows uh, two vessel disease. There is a distal LCX showing total occlusion and the distal left main and proximal LED is showing significant lesion. Already we did imaging for this patient which shows a significant left main disease. Earlier, the plan for left main disease is only it, uh, treatment is CABG. Now, with the evidence from Excel study, we can do left main stenting with equally good results. Now, we are planning to do stenting of the circumflex artery first, followed by provisional left main stenting with proximal optimization technique. Now, the AP cardinal B shows there is a total occlusion of the circumflex artery. Next. Now, we have passed a wire into the circumflex artery with the balloon support and dilating with a 1.5 into 10 balloon. Now, there is a faint antiquated flow of balloon dilatation. Now, we are putting a 2 into 20 size stent, drug eluting stent in the circumflex artery. Now, we are dilating, we are inflating the stent, this is the result. Now, we are, we are dilating the stent with a non-compliant balloon for proximal optimization. Now, this is the end result of the circumflex artery of the after stenting. Now, we have pressed one more wire into the LED and we are putting a stent 3.5 into 18 regulating stent into the from distal left main into the proximal LED. Now, we have inflating the stent at nominal atmosphere of 11 atmospheres. Now, we are this is the result after putting a stent in the distal left main. Now, we are taking another 4 into 8 balloon non compliant balloon for proximal optimization technique to have a better results. This is the balloon, this is the, we are inflating the balloon with 4 into 8 in the left main. Now, this is the end result of the distal left main, TME 3 flow, no dissection and patient is absolutely symptom free. This is the AP cranial view showing TME 3 flow. Thank you for my team members, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar, Mr. Srikant, and Mr. Vasudev Reddy.